Hello, my name is John Hoodley, Director of Radio Solutions here at CASA Systems. Today we'll be showing a demonstration of CASA's end-to-end -end 5G ORAN solution, including our exciting 5G EVO radio, which is a major step forward in the support of next-generation indoor mobile networks supporting critical mid-band spectrum. We've all heard about 5G and how it will transform the way we live and work. CASA's focus is on providing 5G from the core to the door, focusing on both throughput and flexibility, with an ORAN solution that can be deployed virtually anywhere. Today we'll focus on a variety of performance breakthroughs we've seen on our 5G EVO radio platform, including the achievement of gigabit speeds, broad RF coverage support, and the ability to flexibly support both multi-carrier and multi-channel sizing, each of which will be critical elements as networks start to deploy large chunks of mid-band spectrum. All of this will be shown on a live system here in our headquarter location in Andover, Massachusetts, utilizing CASA's 5G Standalone Core, or SA Core, Virtualized Centralized Unit, CU, Integrated Distributed Unit, DU, and our Front Hall Gateway functionality. The 5G EVO radio and a variety of endpoint devices will also be included in the demonstration. We'll be showing smartphones and CASA's developed fixed wireless access technology. It's important to note, while this is an end-to-end -end solution, each radio element is based on the ORAN open interfaces and supports full interoperability. Before we observe the actual demo, let's go through the demonstration architecture. As you can see, CASA supports end-to-end -end ORAN with a variety of deployment options. Starting on the right and looking to the left, we can support either a 5G standalone or non-standalone core connected to the ORAN compliant radio access network solution. In the setup, we'll show shortly, we're using CASA's very low footprint virtualized 5G standalone core. The core connects to the virtualized CU, which can be either on-premise, cloud-based, or in any centralized data center. The CU connects to the DU, which can be virtualized, on-premise, or at a network edge data center. A second option that CASA has developed is called the Hedge, or High Efficiency DU and Gateway. This multifunctional component provide significant processing, footprint, and power efficiency for large-scale or neutral host DU processing. It also includes an integrated front hall gateway or front hall multiplexer to allow for support of up to 16 RUs in a single one rack unit solution. This is fully compliant with ORAN split option 7-2X. We have extensive experience with X2E and DC in the field. So connections to the existing 4G network using NSA option 3X are well accommodated. Any 4G macro or CASA's own 4G enterprise small cell could be used as an NSA 4G LTE anchor. The DU then connects to the RU, in this case, the 5G EVO radio, which comes in both indoor and outdoor campus models. What you'll see in the following live configuration is that CASA has focused its development attention on many of the details that allow for high throughputs and flexibility, which allows carriers and neutral host providers to take advantage of all the new mid-band spectrum for years to come. Keeping the demo architecture visual in mind, let's see it in action. We have a CASA 5G standalone core instance running here locally. Given this is a fully cloud-native platform, this cloud instance could be technically running anywhere, in a local data center, in a centralized data center, or even in the cloud. Next, we have the virtual CU running on this server. Similar to the core, the CU can run on any compute platform locally or in a central location. Depending on the size of the location, the CU and the core could be running on the same server. While our DU will be running in a virtualized environment in the future, what we're showing now is the Hedge, our high-efficiency DU and gateway. 
This is a single server that can connect up to 16 radios running 100 megahertz or eight radios like our Evo RU running 200 megahertz. This is an incredibly efficient network element that we estimate reduces rack space by eight times and power consumption by more than 20 times when compared to COT servers. As systems require more bandwidth or are operated in a neutral host framework with multiple tenants, this becomes important. It not only reduces the servers and rack space needed, but also reduces the power draw of the system, making it a greener option. A true differentiator for CASA is our 5G EVO midband radio. Designed not only to accommodate massive bandwidth that comes with the midband spectrum, but also to maximize flexibility of use within the network. As you can see, it has a compact form factor, especially considering the bandwidth that it supports. Our RU variants are currently supporting C-band, N78, CBRS, N41, and N38, but today we're running C-band in this demo. Let's start with the speed test, and let's first focus on throughput. The 5G EVO is equipped with two 100 MHz channels, double what is currently on the market using standard chipset approaches. We've also doubled the number of antennas to support 4T4R. This not only doubles the throughput, but helps us achieve improved cell edge coverage. The net outcome is theoretical peak speeds of more than 4 gigabits per second on the downlink and 1.6 gigabits per second on the uplink. From a coverage standpoint, we've tested and gotten great results. In our Andover open off and space environment, we're seeing a single radio covering up to 30,000 square feet. Even in very dense environments, we expect 10,000 square foot coverage. While this can be deployed in a single radio format, we expect to see the 5G EVO targeted for spaces above 100,000 square feet with the ability to scale to cover over a million square feet. All of this comes in a compact package, under five pounds, that can be mounted on the ceiling or a wall. It can pretty well be deployed anywhere. We also support outdoor campus configuration options later this year. Listening to our enterprise and service provider customers, support in diverse environments is very important. Given that, you can see that we've added both CAT6 and fiber port options to the unit, allowing for deployment in any type of building. This is a globally focused product. Currently, we have units supporting N41, N48 CBRS, N77 C band, and N78. One of the things we see is the ever increasing amount of midband spectrum that's available, as well as the adjacent nature of some of these spectrum bands. In some cases, service providers have more than doubled their spectrum portfolio with a single or multiple midband addition. Also, some of these midband channels sit in close proximity, presenting an opportunity to operate these bands as a single unit. A good example of this is the N48 CBRS band along with the N77 C band here in the US. Looking at these options, this gives you the ability to bind up to two carriers that are each up to 100 megahertz. This can be done at 2.5 gigahertz or the 3.5 gigahertz band. And this allows you to get the full bandwidth capability. Most competing platforms will top out at a single 100 megahertz carrier, which will drive the deployment of double the number of radios. So we really deliver maximum throughput and a true ultra broadband experience. But what's interesting is the flexibility of these two carriers paired with remote software tunability. With the ability to cover a frequency range or IBW of up to 300 megahertz. That is from the bottom of the first band to the top of the second band. That separation could be 300 megahertz. As an example, this gives a service provider the ability to use the first 100 megahertz of the C-band spectrum in conjunction with locally available CBRS spectrum to maximize throughput. Used another way, a neutral host could leverage the CBRS spectrum for private enterprise use, directly monetizing that build and providing an anchor tenant while still retaining a full 100 megahertz channel for hosting another service provider in the C-band or in CBRS. Finally, there are scenarios where large mid-band channels are deployed over time. This allows service providers to start 
as an example with a CBRS and C-band configuration, and then move to a dual C-band plus C-band configuration as that additional spectrum becomes available. Other possibilities exist with N41 and N78 bands. With the EVO RU, we're delivering flexibility with software configurations rather than ripping and replacing. This radio access network demo showcases the true capability of an end-to-end -end 5G system. As we enter a new decade of 5G evolution, Castle will continue to create new solutions that disrupt legacy ways of thinking and introduce new technologies that un unlock new opportunities for service providers and neutral host operators. Until now, high throughput 5G access solutions have concentrated primarily on outdoor networks. CAS's end-to-end -end solutions, highlighted by the Apex 5G EVO radio, brings the power of 5G indoors, allowing true multi-gigabit 5G experiences inside users' businesses and in public spaces. If you would like a more detailed demonstration or would like more information, please contact your CASA salesperson or contact us at casasystems.com.